Should somebody break it? I broke it with these scriptures. I want mercy. Go ahead. <coughs> Verse 6. Mm -hmm. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. So this is how we get mercy. From the rock. Keep his commandments. Keep them. This is how we get mercy. I want mercy. Let's go to Luke chapter 6 and verse 47. When you build your life around the rock, which is Jesus, instead of jobs, money, cars, clothes, and hoes, <laughs> parents, Satan can't take that power of God away from you. God, he can't take that power of God away from you. You got to build around him and show you how to function in this world. It's time to build right. Who's your rock? Who is your rock? That's the title. Luke chapter 4 and verse 47. We got to build our life around him. What he says. Excuse me, you're right. Luke chapter 6, excuse me, verse 47. You're right. Go ahead. Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my saying mm -hmm. and doeth them, I will show you to whom he is like. Because I'm going to show you to whom he is like. If you come to me, how are you going to come to him? You read the book. That's right. You read the book. Come it's on. not just one day out of the week. It is seven days, 24 hours a day. This it's word of God needs to be on your mind. I believe that's a hard thing to do in this world. Need to be on your mind. He said, this is what you're going to be like if you do what I tell you to do. Go ahead. He is like a man which built a house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock. Yes, and, sir. And when the flood rose, arose, uh, the, when the flood arose, uh -huh. and when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house mm -hmm. and could not shake it. For it was founded upon a rock. Yes, sir. With all these troubles, God said, you're going to be like this house is built on a great foundation. A stone foundation. Versus a house that is built on some sand. It's going to wash away. But if your house is built on the rock, which is Christ, it be able to, it's going to, you're going to be able to take what these people give you. You're going to be able to take it. It ain't like you're going to be numb to it, but you'll be able to take it. It'll pass. But if you don't, go ahead. This is what's going to happen to you. But he that heareth and doeth not is like a man that without a foundation built a house upon the earth against which the stream did beat vehemently, and immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was great. He said, You're going to be like, a, if you just hearing it, that's what people do. They think they get some kudos to God because they hear it and understand it. No, you got to do it. You got to do it. Mm. He said, once it come upon you, he can't shake you. If you're doing it, it's practice, practice, practice. Building upon the rock. Practice, practice, practice. A lot of times, I think, like I said, when I, when I play sports real competitive, we have to practice all the time. Just to make sure we are ready for the opponent for the following week. A lot of us haven't practiced on nothing. Nothing. A lot of us don't even like competition on nothing. Competition ain't bad. It's just that when you try to put competition over God, that's when it become bad. Mm. You got to have that work ethic in the book. I treat, I treat this book like I treat when I play football and I train, lifting all those weights, running, doing all that stuff. I did it for the, I did it for the coach. Why well, can't do it for God? He helping me. Amen. But this is this is what it is. Let's go to Psalm 34. Be like that man that built his house on a rock, and we know who that rock is. Their rock is Christ. 
Psalm 34. Let me show you all a little protection of the rock. Psalm 34 and verse 7. Go ahead. The angel of, of the Lord encamped round about, about them that fear him mm -hmm. and delivered them. Hold up. So we ain't got to get no ADT? Mm -hmm. Angel of the Lord encamped around me. I ain't got to worry about paying on $30, $50 a month for a security system. You don't see no angels out there? That system is called J-Rock. Jesus Rock. He's in Camp Brown, this place, my home. How I know? Because I'm making sure that I'm doing what he tell me to do. But you want ADT to come and rescue you. Or the police officer to come rescue you. You better have a rock and them angels in Camp Brown. When I walk, they walking with me. When I'm preaching, they in here with me. That's how I feel about it. That's why I'm walking no fear. Read that again. The angel of the Lord encamp round about them that fear him. Yes, sir. That fear him and delivered them. Mm -hmm. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste it. Go ahead. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. No, you trust in your job. No, in the Lord. Bro. No, you trust in your wife, your husband, your kids. No, sir. No, you trust in your mom. Mm. Trust in him. Taste it. Yes. And believe me, he'll show you how to treat your wife and your kids, your mom, your daddy, your brother, sister, whoever. This is the rock. Go ahead. Oh, fear. Oh, fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. He his saints. For there is no want to them that fear him. I ain't got no want. I ain't want for nothing. I'm just giving you my thing. I ain't want for nothing. The reason why I say that is because the more I study about God, the less I want from Him. You know why? Because He gave me so much. But people just want, want, want. Not because they need, they want it because they want it for their flesh. That's right. Just to show off. That's right. And I was one of them. I said, they don't need all this stuff, man, I'm trying to get. I don't need no new car, we don't need no new house, I don't need all this stuff. Be content with what you got. And once you start thinking that way and put your trust in the rock, hey, it's easy. Smooth like Sunday morning. Go ahead. Excuse me, Saturday morning. <laughs> 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 Go ahead. The young lions do lack uh -huh. and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. The young lions, I mean them young people, they do lack. Look at in the streets today on the news. They lack it. Why? Because the old lines ain't talking them nothing. They talking about, oh, you got to make sure you buy some clothes, some shoes, keep them dressed up, keep them PS4 video games and all this stuff. All this stuff fine. But you ain't giving the most important part, which is the rock, the salvation of the Lord, the laws and statutes. You just made a monster. This is what we got in the world. Look at the monsters on TV. Israel. And God called them like a wild bull in the net on every corner. Why? It's our fault, parents. And you know people out here that see these kids, they won't say nothing to them. They won't say nothing to them because they scared. I ain't trying to tell you to go out there and talk to nobody. That's how much your faith is. You find out your faith. Amen. Go ahead. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Yes, sir. What man is he that desired life and loveth many days that he may see good? Mm -hmm. Keep that tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking God. Uh oh, there we go right there now. Keep that tongue. It takes a tornado, that pink tornado in your mouth. People talk too much. Talk, talk, 
talk, talk, talk. And God said, I want you to listen twice as much as you talk. And God trying to tell us something. Sometimes I get in a place and I say, look, I'm going to be quiet. Stop all this talking. Be quiet so I can hear what he's saying. And some people might assume that I'm mad. I'm not mad. I'm just making sure I'm controlling my mouth. Because my mouth gets me in a whole lot of trouble. He said, keep thy tongue from evil. And the lips from speaking God, which is mischief, sinful stuff. Go ahead. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Depart from it. Leave it alone. It ain't working. Keep, walk off for a little while. Maybe you can get back with it, whatever it is, whatever the situation is. Depart from it. Seek peace. Most people don't seek peace, they seek arguments. They seek confrontation. That's what people remember God said, six things he hate, seven things he hate, and six are abomination, feet that run to, run to destruction. Proverbs chapter 6, read on your time. Go ahead. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, mm -hmm. and his ears are open unto their cry. Yes, sir. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, mm -hmm. to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. Now you got the eyes of the righteous. God said, my eyes are upon you, because you understand that I'm your rock. The eyes of the wicked, they're not upon them. He's going to cut them off, because they don't make the wicked don't make him his rock. Their rock, excuse me. Go ahead. The righteous cry, mm -hmm. and the Lord hear it, and deliver them out of all their troubles. That's what I want him to do. When I'm crying out to him, hear me, deliver me. But we too busy talking. Too busy going on what somebody make, how somebody make me feel. Get out your feelings. Get into the book. Go ahead. The Lord is now to them that are of broken heart, mm -hmm. and save as such as be of a contrite spirit. That contrite spirit is a humbleness. Right. Being humble. Humble in what you're doing. Take a chill pill. Chill out from this stuff for a minute. Get your head right with God. And you'll find yourself, you'll find all the answers you need. And you'll have peace. Go ahead. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, mm -hmm. but the Lord delivered him out of them all. But I tell you, you're going to be afflicted. It's got a lot of them, they're going to afflict you. Just because you said the rock, that don't mean they're going to come at you. They're going to come at you. But it's how you respond. It's how I respond. It's how long they're going to be there in your face, how long you respond, how, the way you respond to them. If you respond wrongfully, they'll be there forever. You can't get them off. Go ahead. Verse 20. Mm -hmm. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Evil shall slay the wicked, mm -hmm. and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. God said, so I'm going to slay the wicked. Don't worry about it. I got them. You just don't put me on your time scale and tell me when to do it. That's how we do it. Oh, the Lord ain't fair yet. They can't fall because you waiting on it. Go ahead. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. That's what that word again. Trust in him shall be desolate. Who's your rock? Is people your rock? <laughs> or God is your rock? Who you trusting in? Do people control your mindset? Or do God control your mindset? That'll let you know who your rock is. It let me know. You finished with that? Yes, sir. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 1. I mean, Psalm 35, excuse me. Psalm 35, next book over. Let's see what else J Rock got for us. I like that. J Rock Security. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of ADP. What do we call it? ADT? ADT. They folk got confidence in that ADT channel. Oh, I can go to sleep now. <laughs> Man, you go breaking that, cutting those security system wires and steal everything you got in there. Be gone before you even wake up. But when you got J-Rock, 
which is Jesus rock on your side, the angels in Captain Ryan. Go ahead, brother. Let's see what the angels do to you. Go ahead. Plead my cause, O Lord, mm -hmm. with them that strive with me. Mm -hmm. Fight against them that fight against me. See what he said? Plead my cause, Lord. Fight against them that fight against me. You trying to fight your battles. Stop trying to fight your battles. Be quiet. Let God fight. Go ahead. Take hold of shield and bluff them. Uh -huh. And stand up for my help. That is your help. Go ahead. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Mm -hmm. Say unto my soul, I am my salvation. Talk to me, God. You my shield, you my buckler. You take care of that business. Don't let me get my hand dirty. You are my salvation. Go ahead. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Mm. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. See, he's tell, see, telling you how he's going to fight for you. He said, let them be confounded. I mean, they're like, you can't understand why they keep coming up. Why they ain't fail yet? They confounded, meaning they don't understand why haven't you failed. That's right. He said, let them be confounded and put, let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after your soul. And they be shameful when they couldn't take you down. Hmm. Because you got the rock on your side. Go ahead. Verse 5. Let them be as shaft before the wind. Mm -hmm. And let the angel of the Lord chase them. Angels of the Lord chase them? There go J-Bot security. He on it. But you trust in the ADP. Or the Albany Department, Police Department. That's your security. I'm going to call the law on you, you don't leave. No, you go in there, you pray to God, he'll leave. I ain't saying you can't use the law now. <laughs> you can use the law. But go to, to that rock first. Go ahead. Verse 6. Let their way be dark and slippery. Mm -hmm. And let the angel of the Lord persecute them. You see what the angel of the Lord did to Saul? Persecuted. That he, he persecuted so much he committed suicide, he killed himself. You see what the angel of the Lord did to Judas? He went and hung himself. All these are written for our example. We can possess this power of the rock that he kept around our families. Go ahead. For without cause have they hid from me mm. their net in a pit. They send a trap for you. They hide a net for you, a trap for you. Go ahead. Which without cause they have did for my soul. They sought they something for your body. They take you out. Look what happened. Go ahead. Let destruction come upon him at unawares. And they, they sit up there. He said, let destruction come upon him unawares. Meaning he set a trap for you and he fell. <laughs> come on. Amen. He went out there and tried to break in your house and a snake wrapped around his leg and bit it. He didn't see the snake. God put that snake down. Understand, God got your back if you just trust in him. Go ahead. And let his net that he has hid catch himself mm -hmm. into that very destruction. Let him fall. He went out there and just come and steal at your house, riding in his car with the, with the machine, with the guns and all that stuff. He done flipped over 12 times and killed himself. Because he ain't he ain't understand about J. Ross here. <laughs> they ain't flip that car. That's what it is. You gotta play, you gotta get in, get this in your head, man. The same thing that the world is doing with all these security systems, police and all this stuff, where do you think they got it from? God. Go ahead. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. Yes, sir. It shall rejoice. What verse you just said? Verse 9. Uh -huh. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. That's what it is. Your soul is rejoicing because you know J-Rock got you. He got you. Like you crying these wolf titties to me like I'm getting scared. You don't even understand who on my side. These two big angels singles behind me right now. People don't see it like that. I look at that stuff through the scriptures. 
I don't walk around here scared of what somebody gonna do to me. I got these angels walking with me. Psalm 23 says, Shield the good and the mercy shall be with us, right? Mm -hmm. right. Shall follow them. That's right. He said, I shall set a, uh, a table before your enemies. enemies. Amen. You're gonna eat in front of them. They're like, why are you eating? Why are you even scared? You know, we even gave him all we had, and he's still on the ride, or she's still on the ride. They don't know about J Rock. <laughs> now, if you don't want to use J-Rod security, now this is for you. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 1. Let me show you what's in, in tale, what, what, what is for you. If this don't make you happy, and you find this very, very annoying, this is for you. I find this right here, joy, rejoice, I mean joyous. Somebody got my back? I can't see him? Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22. Let's see what you got if you don't want to do it God way. Or J Rock. Go ahead. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Mm -hmm. And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. You fool! If you hate this word, you simple in the mind. If you hate this word, if you said, "Dog, oh, man, I don't really like this," over and over and over again, you simple. You're a fool. Go ahead. Turn you at my reproof. Mm -hmm. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. Yes, sir. I will make known my words unto you. Go ahead. Because I have called and ye refused. Mm. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Folks said, God, when you call me, I ain't heard you. He calling you right now. These are not Jeff and LC words. These are God's words. He said, I stretched out my hand to you trying to show you the direction you're supposed to go. But you're a fool. You hate this. Go mm. oh, ahead. Yeah, he got some more for you. 25. Uh-huh. But ye have set at naught all my counsel. You despise my counsels. Go ahead. And with none of my reproof. You ain't want to do none of Go ahead. I also will laugh at your calamity. He I will mock. Up. Go ahead. I will mock when your fear cometh. He said, I'm going to laugh at you when you out there in the middle of nowhere with no help. You run around there scared because you feel <laughs> something crawling on your leg. <laughs> You run out there scared, you done flipped over your car and a broken leg and you got to walk a mile up the road. God laughed. He said, because you mocked at me. And he's going to mock at you. Because you hate this. When this book is open, you hate it. Go ahead. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, mm. when distress and anguish cometh, Upon you. It's coming. All this destruction coming. What God gonna do? Go ahead. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Hold oh, up. God said he ain't gonna answer. Right. They ain't gonna answer you. You hate me when this book is open. You hate me when you read this knowledge. You hate it. And you want me to help you? Mm -hmm. I ain't your rock. Go call your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Go call your dad. Go call your grandma. Go call your husband. Go call your wife. See, see how fast they can get there. I'm the rock. I can send somebody there immediately. Just like when Lockman was about to be destroyed in the south of the morning, them angels levitated them out of that situation. Got them out of that quick. He transported them out. Go ahead. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Mm -hmm. For that they hate knowledge. They hate what? They hate it knowledge. They hate this book when you read it to them. Amen. They say that they're just shaking their head. Oh, boy, you need to shut up. I don't want to hear it no more. <laughs> Go ahead. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. That's what we trying to get you to understand. That's why I'm so passionate about when I read these scriptures. I'm trying to get you to fear him. Because I know just as well as you know, if you don't feel nobody, we have what's on the street now. The police officer come up to our young men, our young 
sisters and tell them to be quiet, do what I tell you to do, and they just go crazy. Why? Because it starts at home when you fear in God and you respect in your parents. But these young parents ain't doing this. I ain't gonna say young. So some of these jokers had kids, they 15, 16 years old, they ain't take their kid nothing. That's right. It's not this young. Then when they come upon them, they don't know what's going on. I know exactly what's going on. Because they don't fear God. And God tell you to honor your parents. Especially if they bring the book to you. But when you sit up there, can't get it through your thick head that these are not your parents' words, these are God's words, you got a problem. When you sit up there, got something against your pastor, he telling you the truth, you got a problem. He teaching the word. Or a woman of God, she teaching the word. Go ahead. Verse 30. Mm -hmm. They were none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. They were none. They don't even want to go by God's counsel. His book and his laws are counsel. Like a counselor come to you in school just because you might have a death in your family, they sit down and talk to you and see what's going on, see how can they help you. This is what God said right here. He sit down and talk to you through the book and tell you how to handle it. But you hate this because the world ain't doing this. We the only one doing this. And the world going to hell, you see how your mind is simple? You see how my mind is simple if I'm thinking that? I ain't leaving myself out. But sometimes I don't want to read this. I had to force myself. There's so many distractions. I ain't leaving myself out. Go ahead. There is one. Mm -hmm. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way mm. and be filled with their own devices. That's what they feel with right now. Their own devices. Social media. They feel with it. Instagram, Facebook, all these shows, they feel with it. They don't have no room for this. They feel with their jobs. They don't have no room for this. They tired. Oh, I got to catch up on my show. I'll read the Bible later. Then by the time you read it at night time, you're going to sleep. Ah. That's right. I know because I've done it. And sometimes I still do it today because I want to watch certain things. Deal with their own devices. Go ahead. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, mm. and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. You're a fool if you searching out the riches. <clears throat> I want to have all this money so I can buy me all these smooth clothes, all these smooth cars, all this stuff. Man, I just want to have, have, have. The prosperity took your mind, mm -hmm. and they start pimping you out. And your, it said, what profit a man to gain what? Oh, bro. Yes, sir. Y'all know this. You got to keep this in your mind. You finish with that? One more verse. Go ahead. But whoso hearkeneth mm -hmm. unto me shall dwell safely mm -hmm. and shall be quiet from fear of evil. That sounds like a rock right there. Yes, you dwelling on something. Yes, you banking on something. Hallelujah. Let's go to James chapter 1. James chapter 1, verse 19. J Rock is on the scene, baby. Yes, sir. Shit, what? Get all this knowledge to help me through these devilish times. got to stop all this talking too much. We can't listen too much. It's about action. God is looking for the action, the work. You got a lot of people who sit there and listen to you all day long, but they don't do that. They don't post this on their social media. We got so many ways where you ain't even got to be in front of people to talk to them. And all you got to do is put God's scriptures on social media and that be counted for your salvation. But when you go on their pages, all you see is games, fighting, all you see is this stuff to make them have fun, all this stuff. That's their wrong. 
They keep their mind at peace. Go on my page and see. I'm slaughtering them. <laughs> I know, man. I said, God said, I'm going to 